What's going on guys, Edgar here with LifestylesDefined.com here to bring you a quick look at music preview for Windows 10 Mobile. Stay tuned. This is that late night working after three, man. This is why my old girl was mad at me. This why I'm your majesty, man. The click is the tightest, the be the tightest, the drinks are the coldest, the future the bright. What is the deal, beautiful people? It's your boy Ramon. Before we get started, I just want to thank you for coming through checking us out i hope you enjoy the video and i want to just make a quick shout out to the website make sure you head over there we got tons of content on fashion the latest sneakers whatever it is you're into we got tons of entertainment a lot of edm music house music so on and so forth and of course all of our technology that we cover here on the channel and yes for you gamers we even got something special for you over at ignorantgamers.com. That is our sister site and sister channel. Enjoy the video. I'm out. Peace. All right, so here it is. This is the music preview application for Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, this is the now playing screen here. So as you can see here, we have uh, an almost full screen album art, which I really do love. I like the way that it looks. Uh, here towards the bottom, we have the controls. Uh, we have the skip back, play, skip forward, uh, repeat, and then we have shuffle. And then we also have a menu here. And we'll take a look at that here in a second. Um, here we have everything, um, which is the name of the of the song, Blue October, Any Man in America, the uh, name of the album, which is really cool. And you also, of course, get the time of the actual track, along with a slider here uh, if you want to skip forward or back uh, which is really cool uh, the other thing we have here on top we have a search button here on top and then we have the menu here towards the left top corner let's go ahead and jump into that real quick uh, we have a few options here we have recent play so if we jump into recent plays it'll take me to of course the recent tracks that I played uh, which is really nice you can jump right back in uh, you know maybe you you identified a song and you started playing it and then you forgot about it it'll be right here on this list it's nice to come back to it and find that song you were listening to uh, previously uh, we have now playing which will take me back to blue October obviously that is the track that I was playing we can jump into explore this section does not work right now it's not available and of course that is because this is a preview application the same goes for the radio section here uh, if we go into albums it's really nice you get the album uh, little album cover there along with the uh, artist on top obviously you see the red lettering there that is of course due to the fact that I have the my theme set to red if you change it to blue it'll change it to blue if, if you change it to yellow the text is going to appear yellow which is really cool really nice here on top you can actually filter by all music available offline or uh, streaming which is really nice the other thing is that the albums you can sort them by artist or alphabetical and that is also a really cool thing um, to to have there jump back into the menu here we jump into artist uh, again you have all you can have um, streaming offline or or offline only or streaming and again you can do alphabetical here if you want to look for you know alphabetical and you want to skip to a letter you can obviously bring up the menu here jump into R and it'll take me to anything that any artist with a letter R of course which is really nice to quickly find what you need uh, songs here singles for songs we can filter by all available offline or streaming and I think this one's obviously alphabetical uh, again, if you want to skip to a letter, jump into here and then select the letter you want and you are taken to the artist or the artist that begin with the letter G. Uh, so it's really nice here. Again, I stream all of my tracks so you'll notice a little uh, signal here or the little icon here that is obviously um, a streaming icon there. If we jump back into the menu, we have playlists. I have two, I have my favorite playlists and I have the uh, workout music playlist there jump back into the menu you have the send feedback which will take you obviously to the feedback section and then you have a few options here shop which is again not available right now um, and then we have uh, of course my account and then settings there there's not much here except for downloads and more 
which let me see what more does obviously it doesn't do anything right now uh, but just a few a little more information there uh, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, really quickly want to show you something that's really cool if we jump into songs for instance um, here on top we have the select which we also see on the uh, photos application we see on, on uh, OneDrive we see on a lot of the applications that are now becoming available for Windows 10 mobile uh, and what you can do here is obviously uh, click the select here and now you obviously can select different tracks so you know we'll go ahead and jump and select all these songs now the cool thing is once you start selecting and you hit that select button on top you can hit the play button here uh, and then bring up this menu which will uh, give you more uh, basically let you know what every button means here now that I've selected the tracks here you can play selected you can add to which will uh, you, you can add it to a list so let's go on here you can add it to my favorites music my workout music or you can start a new one uh, and the other is obviously download the tracks you can download them by simply clicking here and then the other is of course delete the tracks so that's really cool the fact that you can add multiple songs to a playlist or you can add multiple songs uh, to to a track or to a, a place that you've already created you can also download them uh, by groups and you can also delete them by groups so that's really cool uh, sometimes I download an album not necessarily because I like the whole album but just to uh, you know kind of filter listen to the tracks and and see what I what I like download the ones I like and then delete the other ones uh, so that's really a unique and a very useful tool here with music the same goes for albums and that's another really cool thing here so we can jump into albums and once you jump into here you can obviously select again select the albums that you want and you'll notice that of course that menu appears here towards the bottom again and we have the same options you can play selected add to uh, you can download them and you can delete them too which is really unique um, and 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 obviously it's uh, very useful for me especially you know I download a lot of music uh, I've been using Xbox music since uh, the Zune days so this is obviously for me one of uh, the, be the, the better features that I've noticed on this uh, new music preview application here uh, if we go into now playing obviously we can play the track and let's see if it plays okay there it goes it's can't really hear it uh, one of the other things you can do is slide you can slide from a track to track which is really cool and let's just uh, let's just shuffle my music here uh, let's pause it here so again you have the the uh, controls here towards the bottom which is really nice for quick access there uh, we'll do my playlist so let's jump into that do this again you have a few more options here you can play all you can add to you can uh, select more uh, and you can also make available offline which is really nice to have again a, a lot of option options going on on this application here um, but let's go ahead and shuffle this music here so yeah let's jump into my playlist and just hit the play button there uh, one of the really cool things that you can do here is slide up and if you slide up you'll get a list of all of the tracks that are coming up um, obviously I have it set to shuffle but if you turn that off it's just gonna you know obviously turn it on it'll change the, li the list order and then turn it off and it'll again change the list order here uh, but it's really cool obviously the song that's playing it's gonna be highlighted in red or whatever theme color you've chosen the rest are all down the list and that's really cool again it's just swipe up let me see if it works again obviously it's kind of froze right now and that's obviously due to the fact that this is a preview application let me jump back into it again Again, the song starts playing swipe up and you get the list of tracks you can select the track and just skip right to that particular track so it's really nice to have all of this um, these options here available on this application here it's definitely become a much more powerful application uh, at first I, I was a bit skeptical about the application you know I, I was used to the um, Windows Phone 7 uh, 
music application that we got back then it was it was super cool it worked perfectly um, and then of course with 8.1 they redid the whole music application they actually made it a separate application than it used to be it used to be integrated to with the phone with the OS um, a lot of people were upset with it and now we are here again uh, a whole new application going on a brand new uh, design as far as the menus and uh, controls and things like that but it's definitely looking really good again this was just a quick look at the application here I'm definitely liking the direction that Microsoft is going with the music preview application um, stay tuned for more on Windows Phone guys we're gonna be covering a lot more don't forget to hit that like button subscribe check out lifesoundsdefined.com and again my name is Edgar I'll see you guys next time